One of the reasons you can't get pregnant is a reason I never have talked about because I know it will crush everything and anything because there's nothing literally you can do about and it is genetic compatibility. You might have heard it, it's myth or folklore, but it's actually a real phenomenon and studies show that fertilization isn't just about good eggs or sperm it's also about how well those match at a cellular level now research is there that reveals that eggs can effectively choose sperm that are most compatible and it's based on specific surface proteins and immune signals and that means just like a key must fit a lock it's possible for perfectly healthy sperm and eggs to fail to fertilize because they're simply not compatible and this is why sometimes, even with everything looking normal, couples struggle because it's a compatibility issue at a level that's outside of our control. If you've been on the birth control pill when you met your partner, that can actually affect your natural mate choice. Specifically, it may increase the likelihood of choosing a partner who is genetically less compatible or matched compared to what you have might chosen when not on hormonal contraception. Yes, that's a thing scientifically proven. Google it, research it. You will find the evidence for that. I know it's something you probably don't want to hear and it's something I don't like to talk about because it literally kills all hope. Now in my practice, I see couples conceive more often than not. And yes, I've had clients who, with my support and protocols, conceived quickly, but I've also had those who had a miscarriage or two despite everything we did but usually it's literally just a question of time because healing and balance needs time and dedicated work for some bodies the foundation for viable pregnancy unfolds over a few months but sometimes it needs longer up to 12 months your body needs time to reset rebuild hormonal rhythms calm inflammation and also regulate your nervous system. And yes, I celebrate every success, but I also hold the grief when it doesn't go as planned because real lasting change often takes longer than we expect.